Hello, my name is Liam Abbott and I'm the writer-director for Post-Apocalyptic Job Centre. The film follows Toby, a survivor of a nondescript zombie apocalypse who is running late for his job centre appointment with his work coach Tisha, for obvious reasons. He must try to convince her not to sanction him, leaving him to fend for himself in the apocalyptic wasteland. I was inspired to make the film by my own experiences and observations of the job centre back in 2016 when I was claiming. Due to a misunderstanding, I was sanctioned for two weeks, and when I returned, my claim was cut by 40%. It got me thinking about the bureaucracy of the welfare system and how it would handle extreme circumstances, which led to the concept of the film. One of the biggest difficulties the project faced was we had a very small production team, namely myself and the producer, Erin Stevenson. We had to organise everything ourselves, from auditions and locations to transport and catering. With a cast and crew of over 40 people, you can imagine the stress we had to endure. The shoot spanned three days, and on the last day we were involved in a minor collision at 5am, meaning our transport van was out of commission for the rest of the day, and we had to travel from Lewisham in South East London to Rochester in Kent. Uber made a lot of money on that particular morning. The subject matter was actually trickier to write more than it was to shoot. I had to ensure that the film wasn't making light of people in dire situations regarding welfare and unemployment. It needed to be clear that I was satirising the system and not the people, and from the response we've had, I think myself and my team did a pretty good job. The original concept was actually created back in 2016, but the script was fine-tuned and rewritten all the way up until 2018 when it was locked in. Even then, however, we had to improvise the ending scene on the day due to some supporting actors not turning up for the shoot. Myself and Aaron did work out a budget of around seven to eight thousand pounds, but the end total was close to eleven thousand pounds. The funding came from mostly myself, with some help from my family. At the time, I was on a permanent contract, so I just simply saved up like crazy to afford the film. I've been making films for the past five years now, but Post Apocalyptic Job Centre is my largest to date in regards to budget, crew, and production value. As with a lot of creatives, I'm never truly happy with an end product. I always feel I can tweak and fine-tune elements just that little bit more. If I were able to do it again, I would give myself more time, like an extra day or so, just to take the pressure off a little and have a bit more time to experiment and perfect the scenes. That would also give me time to actually capture what we had to cut out, like a few extra gags, a few extra lines of dialogues, and a few extra setups, which I felt would have really added to the film, but in the end we just didn't have time for it. So if I could, I'd give myself extra time for the film. For myself and Erin, the producer, we are generating concepts for more short films and also beginning to work on a possible series for post-apocalyptic job centre, as well as another comedy series centred around a funeral home.